The commanding general of Army Futures Command here in Austin says he was relieved to hear that no Americans died in the Iranian attack in Iraq where U.S. troops are stationed. Uh, Four-star Army General Mike Murray says he spent much of yesterday following the latest developments out of the Middle East. He's been in contact with the Pentagon, of course, but says it's his goal to look forward rather than react to what's happening now. A portion of the Army, and that's Army Futures Command, stays right. focused on the future and, and doesn't, doesn't get themselves wrapped into the day-to-day -day business of the Army, which is exactly why we stood up Army Futures. Right. And as Army Futures Command looks to modernize the fighting force, KXAN's Wes Rappaport has more on how the Army is working to ensure people who go overseas to fight on our nation's behalf come back with the care that they need. Did a couple of tours to Iraq. Daniel Freiberger served in the Marines from 2001 through 2009. He suffered a traumatic brain injury. It's memory loss, it's uh, things and being around blasts and so forth. It's still something that I'm working through. At a panel at UT Austin, Freiberger asked General Mike Murray what the Army Futures Command is doing for troops like him. Are y'all looking at uh, actually being able to predict, plan, and act on? Uh, like different combat-related uh, injuries prior to it becoming a VA issue. New headgear, new ways of designing headgear, new techniques, um, partnering with some companies that design NFL helmets, I mean, similar type of, um, and that's, that's been going on, that will continue to go on. General Murray talked about how the military partners with local startups to fulfill its priorities. One is protecting soldiers better in the battlefield. It's not only TBI, so the body armor. I mean, there's right, continued right, right. research that goes into that. There's, there's all kinds of research that goes into how we're equipping our soldiers from a protection standpoint. Beside him, the creator of Capital Factory, an Austin group connecting entrepreneurs with investors. How can we help be part of the mission? And I think they felt yeah. a different thing from Texas, maybe, than from some other places. Army Futures Command has grown from 40 to 400 people since the Pentagon created it back in July of 2018 and picked Austin as its home. The budget's growing, too. In the fiscal year we just completed, it was just south of $38 billion. General Murray says the Army has also budgeted $10 billion over a five-year period to invest in companies working on solutions to the Army's problems. I'm Wes Rappaport, KXAN News.